Hey everybody, uh, figured I'd do another video because I seem to be on a roll today. This is about my fourth video today. Uh, I just finished a video showing some techniques using fire. Uh, this is a tile done using that technique and I'm going to show you how to do this. And it's, uh, it's gorgeous stuff. There's a lot more contrast in person than there is on my cheap little camera. Um, the depth of the colors is just phenomenal. They were phenomenal before because it's alcohol inks, but the, the fire just takes it all to a whole new level as far as uh, the richness of the color. And it, it gives it a, uh, you know, you have stained glass and then you have that really old world classic stained glass that the new stuff just can't touch. This is almost the same uh, kind of a difference. So what I'm going to do, um, this isn't really planned, I'm just got several, you know, got a bunch of tiles here and I'm just going to go at it the way that I did that one. Um, I'm not even cleaning my uh, felt, this is an old one, this is a great way um, I've found to, to reuse these so that you don't go through as many as fast. Um, this one's actually still even damp from, from doing that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it uh, just to get some color on here because I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the white background. So I'm just going to put some, put some color on there. And at this stage there's not enough on here to light yet. Um, so I'm going to grab a stream, nice dark blue. work this around. I'm trying to get rid of the white. Because everybody knows how much I hate those little white dots. And there's still not enough to really cover it. But there we go. It's, uh, that's looking pretty good. There's a little close up. It's really deep uh, purplish blue there. So to get the uh, the lines crisscrossing across the uh, tile. I just grab the ink and make sure I'm in frame here. I just draw really fast and light it immediately. Let it burn off. And that's what you're left with. And depending on how wet the uh, previous layers are, it may mix with those earlier colors or it may just end up being closer to the, the new color that you're using. And a uh, little recommendation, if there's a flame on there, don't go adding more because you might set your bottle on fire. I actually melted the tip of one of mine because I was working a little too fast. <laughs> so just something to keep in mind. Um, but this is a lot of fun and it gives some really, really cool effects. And there's where we're at now. It's just gorgeous the way these things work with the fire. And, um,. Do a couple of streaks of red here. And there we go. Beautiful and so easy it's ridiculous. So I'll grab another tile. And this time I'm going to try it without doing the whole background thing and we'll just see how far we can go. And I'm going to have to open up some new colors here. Uh, let's see. Use some latte. I haven't used that in a while. Actually, I'm going to switch these so I'm a little closer to the camera. 
but there's the first burn. Almost looks like sand dunes or something. So now that we've got our latte, I'm going to switch to uh, this bright orange. And if you notice, I'm lighting very quickly after I do the ink, and that's just to reduce how far it spreads out. So I can kind of try to keep those lines somewhat thin. So there's another one. I think I'm going to go back to this gray. I like the gray. And as always, be careful with fire. Use your brain. <laughs> Just feel like I have to say it. This is a dark, really dark, uh, muted kind of denim purple. something that's going to contrast with that. So I think I'm going to go to the good old Wild Plum, one of my most used colors, because it's just phenomenal. It's an amazing color. <laughs> Goes good with everything. There we go. More painting with fire. We're inking with fire, I guess. But um, yeah, so this one, it's uh, more like the first one that I showed with the stained glass kind of look. And then these other ones, um, because I'm not going all crazy with, uh, you know, harsh contrasting colors. Uh, they're coming out a little more subtle, like this one, a little more natural looking. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of fun, and I think everybody should try it.
There we go. A little more contrast on that one. So yeah, just wanted to uh, play around and figured I'd film it. So have fun, be safe, and take care.